Dan Mace here with the 13th episode of Vault Log, a series all about Fallout Shelter, and in this episode we're going to be taking a look at some of the best ways to earn caps in the game. This is going to be information that's useful for both beginner and experienced players alike. Now the first method we're going to be taking a look at is Wasteland Exploration, and I'm going to be showing you how you can optimize your dwellers to get the most caps out of the wasteland that they can possibly get. Now here we have a dweller that was able to earn over 12,000 caps and they weren't even optimized to gather caps. Let's take a look at that. So here we have two dwellers, Lucas and Kelly. They look pretty similar in their special stats except for one big difference. Lucas has 17 luck and Kelly only has one. Now this is important because luck is a determining factor in the cap event payouts in the wasteland. So every 15 minutes that your dweller is in the wasteland, a cap event occurs and luck determines how many caps you're actually going to be able to get out of that event, along with some randomly generated numbers. Now the formula that's used is a calculation of luck, so it takes the total luck of your dweller between their special stat and their outfit, and then it multiplies that by a randomly generated number of 1 to 8. Now this determines the amount of caps you're going to find every 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and send Lucas and Kelly out into the wasteland, check back a day later, and Kelly has 822 caps, so nothing to write home about. But Lucas, on the other hand, has 5,972. Quite a big difference. And if we compare both of those values, we can see that Lucas was able to earn over 5,000 more caps in just a day out in the wasteland. So even if you can't fully optimize your dwellers, just adding any luck that you can is really going to help your cap payouts. Now the second method that we're going to be taking a look at involves Mr. Handy units, and we're going to be sending them out into the wasteland to gather caps for us. Now each Mr. Handy unit can gather a max of 5,000 caps in the wasteland, and you can have a max of 5 units out there at one time. So you could buy 5 units for $3.99 and each rotation could get you 25,000 caps. That's a pretty decent return on investment if you ask me. Now the third method that we're going to be taking a look at is also the quickest method, but you could end up making a few mistakes if you really don't plan this out. So as you can see we can actually earn quite a few caps by selling this junk, but before you sell any junk it's important to do some research and make sure that you're not going to be selling items that are going to be associated with crafting recipes that you'll be using later on in the game. So take a look at the items that you're interested in crafting and do not sell the items that are associated with those recipes, or else this could really put a halt on your end game progress. Now thank you so much for watching all these Fallout Shelter Vault Log episodes and for getting the channel to a thousand subscribers, that's a really big milestone for me. And if you want to catch the previous episodes and see the future ones, they'll be added to the Vault Log playlist. Thank you so much for watching this episode and have a great day.